All right, so what I've got here is um, an engine saver from Aircraft Components. Got it off of the Aircraft Spruce and Specialty website. I saw some do-it-yourself dehumidifiers online, and I thought, well, you know what? I don't want to mess around with trying to make a bunch of little stuff or trying to piecemeal things together. So I just went ahead and, and got this complete setup. What I didn't realize was that um, this connects to your air pump down here, right there. It draws ambient air into the pump, sends it through the desiccant bottle, and then it pumps pretty much dry air into the engine through one of these, you know, little tubes. You can either go through like your oil filler neck and then the dry air circulates through the engine, comes out your uh, breather port, or you can hook this up to the breather port. And I guess you'd have to just loosen the oil cap filler so that, you know, it, it escapes somewhere. Um, that's like running your car heater in the winter time just pumping you know sucking cold air into your heater and then your heater trying to heat that cold air up instead of running the recirculatory uh, switch so that once it's heated in the car it's easier on the heater to keep it warm so what I want to do is modify this so that it draws um, a continuous loop of dehumidified air. Uh, it should save the desiccant material, should, should last longer. Once the initial, you know, engine air is dehumidified. So what I did is uh, pulled off this cover. Inside you got the pump. And this little electronic setup, according to the instructions, once it's turned on, it runs for an hour. Um, I'm also going to hook up a timer so that maybe four times a day, the timer will come on, this will run for an hour, and then it'll turn itself off. But what I did was um, I disconnected the pump, and right here you can see the air intake. So what I've got is some O-rings, and, and it looks like they shaved off the feet. Um, and it's just screwed down with one screw, and then of course this outlet, air outlet port, comes through this little hole up front. But what I did was I measured the distance between the mounting screw and that air intake. <laughs> Watch out for sharp burrs. Um, and from the back side, measured where I needed to mount this uh, eighth inch national pipe thread um, elbow. And so like I said, I'm going to have on this side an O-ring and I'll seal it on and I'll put some sealant on the base here so that when I put this down, the O-ring makes a nice seal around the base and the air this will screw in like so. I already uh, tapped it with a eighth inch national pipe thread tap. So I'm gonna run this in and let's see where it comes out. Hopefully it comes through and it felt like, yeah, it, it started grabbing right where the, uh, can't quite see it. But that, that started grabbing right where the filter how's uh, opening is so that's good so what I'll do is I'll put the o-ring around this fitting seal that down nice and tight connect my line to here and then I can have it circulate completely through the engine and have um, a more efficient dehumidifier. So that's that's my mod 
for this uh, aircraft spruce um, engine dehumidifier should cause it to uh, work a whole lot better and more efficiently. The desiccant can will probably last uh, probably three times longer, I suppose. But I'm going to give this a try when I go out to the airstrip in a couple days. Mm, excuse me. And uh, we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. All right. Thanks for watching.